Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm going to Germany as a part of my Easter holiday to the Rhine Ruhr. And you may wonder why do I want to go there? Well, the industry as well as the old industry in the Rhine Ruhr district is interesting. Especially like the Belval thing in Luxembourg. I am standing in Trier Hauptbahnhof right now. I came here with the L30 replacement bus because there are works in Luxembourg city. Or not really in the city, but on the main line from Luxembourg to <laughs> Firstly, I need to take a regional express train to Koblenz and then I have to change to an intercity train to Cologne. <laughs> With the introduction aside, I will now showcase the route I'll be traveling on to Koblenz. And as you can see on the map here, the railway is highlighted by the red line, which is called the Moselle Valley Railway. On top of that, more than half of the railway route travels along the Moselle River. However, the blue line under is not part of the Moselle Valley Railway, but a separate railway line called the Moselle Railway which has been discontinued since the 1950s. Due to these two railway lines simultaneously existing in some towns, a couple of stations have been given the suffix with the letters DB in a parenthesis next to the name. The use of this is to differentiate the stations on both of the railway lines. Finally, stations such as Schweich and Bulai are currently holding the DB suffix in their station names. Anyways, back to my trip. Another thing worth mentioning is the rolling stock. The train set I'm traveling on is a Stadler Kiss, which was built in 2015 for CFL or the National Railway Company of Luxembourg by the Swiss manufacturer Stadler. The train's model name, Kiss, stands for Comfortabler Innovativer Spurtstarker Espanzug or Comfortable Innovative Spring Capable Suburban Train. These trains were built for regional express services, expanding the CFL fleet, but were also built for direct regional express services between Luxembourg and Koblenz. Later on, in 2017, few of the older Stadler KISS train sets have been upgraded to run intercity services between Düsseldorf and Luxembourg, with the first class seats being upgraded to more comfy seats and stickers indicating seat numbers and areas of reserved seating. And without further ado, let's go. Arrived in Koblenz Hauptbahnhof, and uh, here I'll be waiting for two more hours. Even though there was a long waiting time, I still found things to do meanwhile. I went on looking around the station. Also went outside to take a look at the station's exterior. 
If I have to give my own opinion about Copeland's Hauptbahnhof, it's basically mid. It's not bad, but it's also not the best. I mean, calling it mid also fits it because it's literally in the middle of the, my route to Cologne. That was basically all about the station. I also took some time train spotting. Saw one train that reminded me of the Belgian Siemens D0 train. There are also a lot of freight trains like this one. Also saw an ETA train. And finally an RRX train departing from the opposite side of the platform. Finally, my intercity train to Cologne has arrived. The train consists of double-decker carriages hauled by a locomotive. Upon entering the train, I noticed the train was full. I tried looking for a free seat, but to no avail. Instead, I resorted to standing by the doors. This is why you should always reserve a seat when traveling on long-distance trains within Germany. Yeah... Even though I had outstanding seating, I could still look out of the window for a bit. I also had a snack on me making it somewhat better. On the train, I was able to catch a glimpse of the Rhine River until arriving at Bann Hauptbahnhof. However, upon arrival at Bonn, I found a free pair of seats, which I gladly took. It also gave me the option to store my backpack, which was pretty great. I still got a shallow view out of the window, but that wasn't a big problem, as I could enjoy the comfort of the seats. Nächste Station, Köln Hauptbahnhof. Apologies for the loud honking noise. <laughs> We have now arrived in Cologne Central Station. After staring at the train, I went down to the station and took a look at Cologne's landmark, the Cologne Cathedral. Right after that, I went back inside the station again to buy myself a special ticket, which is a holiday ticket allowing you to travel on any regional transport. Just need to fiddle it out and voila, the schöne Ferien ticket NAV. Other than that, I went back on the platform to take a suburban train to north of Cologne, where I was going to stay in an Airbnb. This is the point I have to end the video, so the only thing I have to say is thank you for watching, subscribe and turn on notifications for next videos. Goodbye and take care.